Hello and good Thursday evening, everybody. It is April 6th, I guess. It is. It's our 101st show, and there's nothing that I like more than 101 Dalmatians. The only other thing would be 101. What? It's Doug, actually. How you doing, Doug? <laughs> nice to I'm doing well. Uh, Dalmatians. So would that be a dog of choice for you? No, they're dumb. <laughs> Is that like common knowledge or is that just uh, a yeah, popular, popular opinion in your house? Well, I heard they're not very intelligent dogs. That being said, they're cute as heck. And also, too, if they weren't intelligent, how helpful are they to firemen? Seems like just one more thing just... to rescue. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they were ever helpful, though. Were they? They weren't like rescue dogs. They were just like they'd stayed at the thing. They didn't go in the... They didn't go in the fire truck to the fires. I think they stayed at the Oh, firehouse. so they were just, like, on display at the firehouse. So, like, if Mass the hot dogs. moms and the kids came by, they'd be yeah, like, come pet right. my dog. And they'd be like, oh, yeah. slide down my it's pole. It's something for the kids to do while the moms pet the firemen. Flick my siren. <laughs> yeah. Flick <laughs> it. I'll sign the calendar that I'm posing in with no shirt on. <laughs> you know. Hey, Webo, how you doing? Nice to see you, little Ange. Nice to see you as well. <laughs> oh, it's Friday, kind of. It is. Kind of is. Yeah. In Nova Scotia. Well, most uh, of Canada. Got any, you got any uh, fancy uh, Easter plans, Doug? Uh, a little bit, but it's really funny. So I was at my friend uh, Donnie and Sarah's last night. And they were telling me how their little fellow was at the dentist. And I, I know their dentist from a past life. And uh, so the dentist was asking their son, like, well, who's coming this weekend? He was like, Nancy's coming. <laughs> so the dentist was like, is Nancy the name of the Easter buddy at your house? <laughs> and uh, he was like, no, it's my aunt. So uh, he was more excited about Aunt Nancy than the Easter bunny, which I thought was pretty cute. So I'm going to go see... Nancy uh, and and those that crew and hang out with them tomorrow and then Saturday off to um, the Dominican for a week and try and warm up Ooh. so that'll be nice so there won't be a show next week um, no so show. sorry Fun to miss and it. Sun instead sun yeah sun. hopefully I'll have a nice chill warm time so it'll be nice so that, that's kind of my Easter plan. No, I got three spray cans. I'm going to graffiti my body with sunscreen. The old spray ons, eh? Yeah. The rub downs just. I like a, uh, yeah, I like a good rub down. <laughs> rub well, down fair. juice. <laughs> <laughs> Make me all greasy. You're like a greasy jungle. Remember that hip song? I do. That's you. Yeah, a little Who greasy. That by? The tragically hip. Well, that's right. Yeah. The tragically hip. For those that aren't in Canada, they're a Canadian band. Very, very, uh, very famous in Canada. But I think that's about it. Yeah. Sorry for my blank face. I was just uh, looking at a new follower that I got on Instagram, um, Felicia Segara. Yet her name. Instagram handle is something not her name. Uh, and she wish I'm married with my husband in our own house having my kids. Still can't wait to have my kids. I don't think I'm going to follow her back. But um, I always wow. love a new follower for, on the art page. Uh, especially when their uh, handle is just a bunch of numbers. Yes. It makes me feel they're unique, you know? Like a serial code. Is that your UPC? Oh, let me just scan is that. Is that your social insurance number? Is that your phone number? What is that? Is that your name turned into numbers? Something? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. Cryptogram? Yeah. So I'm excited for her. Um, her <laughs> her life journey that she's after of finding a man oh, with a home and some excited. kids. You're excited for her because she now follows Doug, actually. <laughs> I think that's terribly exciting for her. Um, oh, I'm excited for you her. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't say our, what we're seeking is aligned, but 
Oh, what? Ever. <laughs> Married skip. <laughs> you don't ask what you don't get for. Well, That's sometimes right. you do. You but still. <laughs> sometimes you get stuff you don't ask for. I want to know my follow age now. All right. I'm going to start doing stuff because I've been talking. Oh, what you doing? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like doing a face. Oh. Yeah. I see. To start, you know, a little, little face to start. Um, sure. So Doug and I this weekend uh, went on a little little uh, team building adventure. Yeah, it was our annual getaway. The Doug actually team building annual getaway. Yeah. Work retreat. Yep, as it were. Uh, as it were. Uh, we went to Toronto. It was a ton of fun. We had a great time. Yeah, it was awesome. There's some food pictures in the food channel and Discord. You're so good at that. I am not. I took a lot of art photos uh, from the uh, Ontario Gallery. Art Gallery of Ontario, sorry. I have to spell it out. Um, and I had them on my stories on, on Instagram, but I haven't put them in the Discord yet, but I should do that. That would... At least some of my favorites, but, you know. Yeah, we spent some time in the uh, Art Gallery of Ontario, and it was uh, really great. I, I enjoyed it, got yeah. To see, got to see some really famous paintings that I didn't know they had there. but Correct, yeah, me either. Some really famous stuff and some really interesting uh, sculptures and trinkets from the 1600s, which was pretty cool. Yeah, there was like four Rodans there and like a Pablo Picasso. It was a lot of fun stuff. Some Monet's. Yeah, Lisa. Oh, it's Bonet. She's a Bonet, isn't she? Oh, Lisa Bonet. Right. Bonet, yeah. And an amazing, amazing painting of the Golden Girls. Oh my gosh. She, uh... You, where, it's got to be seen where Sophia be was. Yeah. Um, yeah, loved it. That was a highlight. So, I had to ask Doug a couple of art-related questions when we were in there. Mm -hmm. One, there was this. I I don't I didn't understand that room, and I can't remember the artist's name, and I wish I could. But it was. I, there's there had to be something with it because it doesn't didn't make sense for it to be in there to me R refresh my memory what was going on with that particular one? i said i said look at this one uh, made with pencil was it made with the first pencil ever or something because it was a horrible drawing oh yes 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 it was uh actually worse than this one i would agree uh, and it wasn't the first pencil ever because it was created in 1942. Yeah, fresh. And I thought, oh, well, maybe the artist was a child <laughs> because it looked like a child's painting. Right, and but, maybe that child became someone amazing. No, but no, because the person was born in 1901, so they would have been 41 when they made that painting. Yeah, or so that picture. Less. Anyway. I wish I could remember the name because I'm going to look it up. Like, what is the deal with this person? Because literally all the art in that in that room was, was I, I don't know, not what I would consider uh, art, not what I would consider worthy to be in the same room as some of the other stuff that we saw. Yeah. And you're entitled to your opinion. You paid admission. I sure did. Well, just in the room be before it, there was this crazy detailed sculpture on boxwood, uh, made out of boxwood. And remember I said to you, like, how is this even contained for that long? Because there's like the very thin spear. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, if you looked at it wrong, it would crack. And it was made in the 1600s. And it's still, uh, I mean... I was thinking maybe it was restored, too, but it didn't look like it was restored. But it may have been, but even still, incredible. 
That's amazing. I wonder if I took a picture of that one. I took a picture of some of the ivory ones, which were pretty cool. Yeah, you were loving the ivory, and then you felt bad for all the elephants. Oh, yeah. I'm like, this must have been thousands of elephants. Well, because that's what we were discussing as well, was like, it's not like you got it right the first time. Yeah, to become that good at that, they must have uh, carved a couple more. Right. Uh, there's some really interesting pieces, though. Oh, yeah, here it is. The wood one. I'm going to put uh, this on the um, Discord. Yeah, do that, because I didn't. Thanks for having my back uh, again. I'm just going to put this one up so that people can see what I'm talking about. I guess I'll put it in art, because it's art. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I'm quite flattered that I can deliver for you, uh, Webo. I wasn't even trying. Uh, I'm also going to see if... Can I copy a link to this? Maybe. And can I paste it in chat? Ba -doom -bang -doom -bang. And will it pull it up? Yeah, so this thing... Yeah, great. Oh, I could also probably put it on the screen too. Yeah. Oh yeah, for all the folks at home. Because I know Compute Corp. <laughs> oh, it is very slow. My computer? my computer? No, just I think my connection to you. Oh. In fact, I'm going to reconnect you. You do what you got to do. That's what I got to do, Doug. Then far be it for me to get in your way. Barbie! <laughs> Did you ever have a toy. Barbie, Doug? I just thought of that. Uh, no, I think I'm too old. Oh, are we too old for those? I should get rid of mine. Right? <laughs> you, should, you still have yours? I take it? Oopsie, that's awkward. No, I never had a Furby. Uh, no, I never had a Furby, though, actually, to answer your question. I have not had a Furby either. No. no. Who like anyone in chat have a Furby? No judgment, just uh, I was busy doing other things. Okay, so not the best. Uh, hold on. Um, so Shane and I did a lot of other things too. We went to a hockey game, so that was like super ass fun. Um, we, fun. oh yeah, cause, um, it, uh, the seats were so high up and it's, it's kind of steep. So I was just like, I was glad my ass was planted. Cause I was like, I got nervous at times it's going to fall over and fall down. But it didn't happen, so I was super, super happy about that, and also super happy that that my team won and Shane's didn't. I wasn't super jazzed about that. But no, at least you... one of our teams won. Yeah, and then after that amazing game, uh, we went and met Dudu, um, who the original Chubby Chick is named after. So met him in person for the first time ever. So that was pretty cool. And I knew he was a lovely creature. And Shane Shane kind of fell in love as well. He's a great guy. Great man. Yeah. I know worse so people than him. Thing... Yeah, I know worse people than him too. There's worse <laughs> people than him in this room. <laughs> Fair. 100%. 100%. Uh, so this is the thing that I was talking about. The boxwood sculpture. Look at the muscles on this guy's arm. Yeah, and like, and then describe how large this is. Oh, this is about the size of a playing card. Yeah. Like, it's ridiculously awesome. And it sucks because the lighting was kind of like, obviously it was lit in a specific way and the picture's not that great. 
That's fair. But, but yeah, this is like this whole thing is about the size of a playing card. Which is which is nuts. And there was a lot of these little 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 things with this so many crazy it was amazing. amount of detail. Uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Pretty yeah, neat. I'm glad you I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hey Bia, how you doing? Hey Bia. Nice to see you. So even though my team did lose, I did get to see Carlton and I was pretty happy about that. You were so excited every time Carlton showed up. It was it was like going with a kid. It was amazing. It was he's 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 Carlton. Yeah, like you I I had no idea how much you love Carlton. He's just there's no reason to hate him. And um, so how do you feel about Crouchy or Grizzly or the one from Philadelphia? Well, I think he's he's cool, but uh, uh, he's no Carlton. He's no Carlton. No, I, I get that. I'll put a uh, picture of Carlton in the, in the Discord. Yeah, for those who don't know, now you know. I'll put him in general. He's really thinking in this picture. So, uh, you know, some consolation to... Uh, oh, yeah. Did you take that picture? You did? Yeah. Beauty. Yeah, he was just down a, down a couple of rows. You know? Yeah. There he is there. There he is. There's our friend there, just thinking yeah. away. Giving some thought to the evening. Why are yeah. we losing? Oh, yeah. That's what's the thing. Mm. Yeah, it's the mascot. He's uh, he's their mascot. Little polar bear. Oh yeah, the white IPA uh, from Nine Locks, Little Angel. That sounds delicious. I myself am having a uh, extra special bitter from the propeller. Oh. I am having some water. Ah, uh, smart. From the fridge. Anyway, it was a great trip to Toronto. Uh, we had a, a lot of fun. Did a I lot did. of things. Yeah. Walked a lot of steps. What did, I, what did we do? 15,000 steps oh, some my days? Goodness. We did 18,000 one day. We did 19,000 another day. And we did 15,000 the one, the half day there. Yeah. So we got around. We got around. Boys, did we? Oh, your Berlin ice hockey team is called the Eisenbären, which means the polar bears. That's oh, interesting. that is fun. Yes, yeah, so I got my steps in for the year. <laughs> oh, sorry. You asked me about Easter and I'm being a total twat. What, uh, what are you doing for Easter? Is that that's what you're doing for Easter is being a total twelve? Trying not to be, but um, I'm not off to a good start. So how are you, and what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to Little Angie's and uh, Angry Panda's place, and we're making some food. What kind of and food? And uh, we're going to have a short rib poiki. Oh yeah. And then Saturday, I'm going to clean the house and do some uh, music recording. And Wonderful. Sunday, I'm hoping to do my taxes and some music recording. Mm -hmm. And Monday, I'm probably going to sleep. Yeah, that all sounds magical. Yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. I'm just happy to not be at work. Yeah. Take a break, you know? Four days in a row is great, especially... Yeah. 
No, that's awesome. I'm happy for you. I also need to get uh, gardening supplies because I need to start my pepper plants or they will not be ready in time. So. Okay. Do you call but I don't know if the names? Um, nothing's open on Friday, I don't think. But Saturday. But Saturday? Yeah. Saturday, I think, so should Saturday be open. Saturday, I'll probably go get some soil and some uh, supplies. Nice. And start my seeds. Start all my seeds. I have so many plans. That's awesome. Hope they all come to fruition. Thank you. One thing that, that Doug and I uh, discussed and talked about at, at length, and uh, those who know me will know that I've been fairly obsessed over the last couple of weeks about Portugal and the uh, potential of retiring some parts of the year maybe there mm -hmm. yeah well I love Portugal yeah I think I will too I'm, I'm all for this this big desire of yours well, it was, it was interesting that we ended up going to a, a Portuguese restaurant that, that first night. Yeah, and it was And not so good. by de design, by accident. Doug picked it. I, I, Doug picked the... <laughs> so everything I do is before, accidental. Yeah, before, I, before he even knew about my uh, recent Portugal obsession. Yeah, I didn't know. You're correct. And it just sort of solidified it, you know? Yeah. Oh, yep. this is what they eat? Yeah, I mean, like, oh, you're like I, I can get behind this. Yeah. That's right, Bia. I will be the local pepper dealer. I'm planning on <laughs> having so many peppers, making hot sauces and powders, doing a couple not hot varieties this year. Oh, what would you call those? One's a sweet. Scotch bonnet pepper. Mm -hmm. uh, that should be nice. And then some less, less than hot. Okay. Like some jalapenos, maybe. Oh, jalapenos! Yes, sir. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I got to say, your mascot, your polar bear, the Berlin ice hockey team's polar bear mascot, a little scarier than Carl. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> a little scarier, a little more on the frightening side. Let me pull it up for you, Doug. Yeah, I want to see. I'm pretty, pretty excited now. I want to see the scary bear. Oh, sorry. Woo! A little more, a little less playful, a little more fierce. Yeah, a little more will maul you in your sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I like them. I like little Ange's uh, response. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Not Fair. so cuddly. And what's his name? Oh, I don't know. I closed it. Oh. Do they have names? They don't all have names, I don't think. Oh, you think Carlton's special like that? <clears throat> no, I mean, I think maybe, maybe they do. Home Arena, Team Anthem. They have a Team Anthem. I bet it's uh, Don't Stop Believing by Journey. It, uh, it, it is. It's, hey, we wollen die Eisbären sehen. Mm -hmm. Hey, we want to see the polar bears. Cool. Well, who doesn't? Polar bears are pretty, pretty spectacular. Um, 
I'm not seeing the name of the mascot here, though. History, home arena, team anthem, honors players, honored members. Sponsors. His name is Bully. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. He looks like a bully. <laughs> Why don't they have the name of the mascot in, on its wiki page? I don't know. Yeah. Well, let me see if uh, the Maple Leafs do. I'll just do a quick search for Carlton, because I know his name. The Bear. Yep. Mascot. Maple Police mascot is Carlton the Bear. A polar bear whose name and number 60 comes from the location of the Maple Leafs Garden of 60 Carlton Street, where the Leafs played throughout much of their history. Didn't know that. Yeah. Is that the original gardens? Yes. The gardens didn't move. <laughs> yes. That's probably accurate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not true at all, actually. Because the first arena... Oh, is it the same one? No. Hold on, just trying to see here. Oh, okay. Hello. So there's a, uh, an arena called Arena Gardens, and that's when that was 1912 to 1931. And then there was the Maple Leaf Gardens. So I guess the answer to your question, Doug, is no, not the original gardens. Oh. Okay. But the one you were thinking of, I think. The original yeah. Maple Leaf Gardens. Yeah, that's 31 the one. 31 to 99. 31 yep. to 99. Yeah, yeah. That'll be it. That's where I saw most of my games as a child. Oh, okay. Now, do you have a preference between the two arenas? I mean, Maple Leaf Gardens holds a special place in my heart, and I've seen more games there. Okay. Well, you saw... I saw some... Ballard there, you said. So I met Harold Ballard? I yeah. Met Johnny Bauer? Yeah. I saw Boris Salming play. Oh, wow. That's cool. And Michelle LaRock. Bunny LaRock. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Your life's been pretty rich in texture, one might say. Yes, I'm old. A lot like uh, Taller Cranston. His Taller life was rich in texture. The figure skater? His life was rich I don't in know texture. That you, you do. You look him up. He's Canadian. Let's all get out. Yeah. Canadian figure skater and painter. He was a painter as well. Yeah. In the 70s, he won the national championships and the 1974 world bronze medal and 1976 Olympic bronze medal. Yeah, he did some yeah. stuff. Yeah, he was, he was good. People liked him. Had a flair for the drama, though. I think that's what people liked. Man, what a what a name. Taller, Shalito, Montague, Cranston. Mm -hmm. He wasn't boring, you know. Man, he's doing the split jumps? Yeah, in the 70s. In the 70s, exactly. And he had like 70s old man hair when he was not probably an old man. Was born in 1949, so 1974, he would have been 25. Oh, yeah, and he looked ancient. Died pretty young, 65. Oh, yes. Yep. Uh, people want to know who we are drawing here. Uh, it's not. Who, do, who does it look like? See how shittily I flip that around? 
<laughs> you tell me who it is. <laughs> <laughs> and if Bia says it's her, yes, Bia, it's you. I thought it was the uh, Fifth Element lady. Oh, uh, no. Mila Jovovich? Yeah, just from the haircut. Oh, yeah. Because the haircut's the same as the Fifth Element. Wasn't planning on it, um, but could be. I'm just mucking around. Looks like Aurora bleeding. Oh. Sounds intense and unfortunate. Oh, the singer. Aurora, Norwegian singer. She's pretty funny. Aurora? Yeah, I think so. Or maybe I'm thinking of uh, Sia. Oh, see ya. Yeah, I could see ya that. Sorry. What's your favorite Sia song? I don't have one. If your life Did depended you on it, what one would it be? I don't think I listen to enough of them to know which one's the best one for me. Okay, that's fair. Um, I like Chandelier. That's a good one. Pop oh. Schmetzen. Pop Schmetzen. I said it to Doug before the show today. You did. That's little Angela's favorite German word. You're not as positive about it? No, I wouldn't imagine. <clears throat> the word is very fun to say and interesting from an English person's perspective, but having a Kopfschmerzen is not good. Mm hmm that's a no thanks on the actual thing. A yes please on the word. No, it is Aurora that I think is funny. I saw okay. her talking about a thing at a performance and she's pretty funny. Pretty funny. Don't know much about her music though. Mm -hmm. Spend some time. Might want to spend some time. There, just kind of hanging out, getting to know it. Just seeing what it's about, seeing what it sounds like. What emotions, what feelings does it drum up? Inside? Evoke. Mm. Are you hoping for any particular one? Mm, no, I'm going to try and keep an open mind. Nice, I like their approach. An open heart. Uh, Bia's favorite Sia song is Breathe Me. Oh yeah, that's a great one. Is it just Breathe or Breathe Me? I don't know. Breathe Me. Okay. Uh, I don't know that I know that one. Starts with some piano. Yeah. Are you doing a deep dive into it right now? It's a very traditional instrumentation. Piano, bass, drums, singing. Mm. A lot less dancey than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the chat room, Doug. Hey. Am I not supposed to be there? No, I had left and then I came back. So it says, welcome no. to the chat room.
It hits you right in the feels, does it, Via? Right in the feels. What was your favorite food item of our trip, Doug? Oh. Um, the chicken at the Korean lunch. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to be the octopus at the... I like the octopus too. That was, that's what came to mind first, but then I'm like, what did I have more of? But, uh, Oh, yeah. you definitely ate a couple of those chicken pieces. I might have had a few, yeah. Yeah, I had a lot too. I mean, we had a good <laughs> feed at that, at that Korean place. Yeah, that was that was delightful. I think if you liked that chicken, you would love the Coco chicken at, at Let's Go. Okay. Well, let's go to Coco Chicken and get some. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd be down for that. I do need more water, but I still have a whole show to go. So that's a tomorrow problem. Oh, you're not going to drink water until tomorrow? Probably not, no. Oh. You have a water cut off at 7.48? Yeah. It's too hydrated. It's too much. Too much! <laughs> Back it up! Hey, Hart, how you doing? Hart, hey! Um, so we talked a little bit about 101 Dalmatians because it's our 101st show. So that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. And my question is, did you like Cruella, the movie? Uh, there's so many. Uh, which one? Who was in that one? The latest one. The like one with, was um, Cruella. who was the lead? Anne Hathaway? I don't. No. M oh, Emma Stone. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Harte. Uh, I did like that one. It's a touchy yeah. subject, though, because that's one of Shane's exes. I thought she was great in it. Well, I did, too, but I don't want to... I mean, you need my support more than she does. <laughs> Very true. Very true. <laughs> However, I've said this in the past, and I'll say it again. Sam, I've got a couple people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she chose her career, and you chose not her to say put. Yeah. yeah. Best decision of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you'd be Mr. Cruella right now. Oh, man. It's a hard knock life, you know? Well, Hollywood, I don't. Nova Scotia? Same, same. Money? <laughs> same, same. Fresh rocking chair? Ooh. Yeah, I, re I really liked that movie. I didn't think I was going to, and I thought they did a good job. Yeah. Well, they're doing all the... Uh, they're all live action now. They just announced... Um, what's Leg Low and Stitch? They're doing a live version of that. They are? Yeah. Just cast wow. uh, a first-time actress out of Hawaii to play um, Lilu. Who's playing Stitch? I assume it'll be CG, but I don't know. Oh, Kevin McDonald's in it. Or is this the old one? Uh, I don't know. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me put live action here and make sure. Oh, Zach Galifianakis is going to be Stitch. Hmm. What's your feeling on him? Uh, it's complicated. So, I liked his... I had not seen him before, and then I watched his Live at the Purple Onion special, comedy special. Okay. And I thought he was really, really, really funny in that. Did you like him in, like... Was that before, like, The Hangover and all that stuff? Yeah, way before that. Oh, and okay. Then he was in... So, I liked his stand-up back then, and then he was in... 
Fiona Apple video, which I thought was pretty funny. And then uh, I thought he was okay in The Hangover, in The Hangover 2, in The Hangover 5, and whatnot. Right. Between Two Ferns can be funny, but it can also be just frustrating. Yeah. Do you know that Jeff Skinner does Between Two Stalls with other players from the Buffalo Sabres? It's the same kind of idea. <laughs> okay, is this any good? Um, a friend of mine sent it to me. He thought it was a brilliant, but I also don't know that he's ever encountered Between Two Ferns. So I think he thought he stumbled right. across something really... But oh, maybe really not. Unique. Maybe not. I don't know. I haven't spoke to them since. But I, 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 I barely got through an episode. Yeah. But it was okay. I just had other things I was rather doing. I'd be rather doing, sorry. The Between Two Ferns outtakes are almost funnier because he says stuff that's so funny that the guests can't even control themselves. <laughs> they right. just burst yeah. out laughing. They, <laughs> like they can't control their hate face and it just goes the other way. Right. Now, was George on that? I don't know. I know John Hamm was, and that was really funny. Oh, good. Oh! I was going to say uh, Brad Pitt was on there, too, and that was pretty funny. Yep. He I was saw kind that of one. really, really, really straight. Yeah. Yes, I remember that. Um. And I just saw his new movie. What's that? Which one? Bullet Train. Oh, yeah. Did you like it? I really did, yeah. I, I liked it. Um, I thought it was a really good action movie, and there's lots of quirky moments. Yeah. Oh, George Clooney is on Between Two Ferns. I thought so. I thought I saw that one, but I wasn't... I mean, you're the expert. It's like a live one. Oh, that might have been challenging. Good for George. So, George Clooney was voted the sexiest man in America, right? Uh, the sexiest a, man a time in or two. At one point? I think so, yeah. Yeah. And uh, today's celebrity birthday is also a sexiest man Paul Rudd in the world it is Paul Rudd's birthday mm -hmm. how old is Paul Rudd Doug? damn fifty one he's fifty four today so you're a little okay. on the young side yeah well I sense. thought he was older but I was face. like I thought he was older, but I just was like, you know. Hey, Rowie, how you doing? 21. Yeah, that's what he looks like. Anyway, he looks 21. <laughs> uh, there's also, it's also a Paul Rudd lookalike's birthday today. Oh, uh, oh. Okay. Think a uh, poor man's Paul Rudd. I'll give you some more hints. He was yeah. in sitcoms mostly. He did a couple of his own movies. His most famous role was as Dr. John Dorian. He yeah. did a movie called Garden State. Oh, Zach something. Zach Braff's birthday is today, Zach Braff. I would not have made that connection that he was a poor man's rud, but uh, oh, that makes sense, I guess. He kind of looks like him. Like, a, he's got a bit of a fatter top of his head. You know? Yeah, he's less handsome than Paul Rudd. Well, that's why he's a poor man's version. <laughs> The poor man gets the less handsome version. Yeah, that's, a, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> it doesn't pay to be poor. 
That's right. <laughs> Being good looking costs money. <laughs> uh, how old is Zach Braff today? 51. He's 48, Doug. He's 48. Well, he doesn't look it, but again. What's great is uh, you were wrong the same amount on both sides. Yeah. Were you? Yeah. Three years off on both sides. Equilibrium, my friend. Equilibrium. That's right. That's right. You picked the median between the two of them. Mm-hmm. For the two of them. By the two of them. <laughs> Lilo, Lee, Lilo and Stitch is one of my favorite Disney movies. I wanted to name Lilo after Lilo because she was a big, brown, warm, uh, heartful eyes. But she didn't react to it, so I tried different versions, and she chose which one she wants. Fair. Lilo that's cool. and Lilu. Okay, the, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. I'm not great at reading. You're a good reader. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I'm a good reader, but I'm not a great reader, Doug. That's fair. You don't get paid to read, do you? I don't know. Am I getting paid for this? Well, then no. <laughs> no, so you don't get paid to read. I do not get paid to read. <laughs> All right. So, I'm not done. But I just wanted to have a moment. So, we can talk about some things for a hot moment before I go to the next step. Okay. Do you want to uh, bring it closer so we can see it better? No. Uh, okay. It's dry. It's we wet. Wanna... We didn't fix the focus on the camera. Okay. No, I keep forgetting and I get busy. Yeah, and I keep forgetting to tell you to not be so busy. Right, and that would help. I can zoom in more. Would you like that? Sure. It looks pretty dopey right now, but uh, it'll get better, I promise. It looks really cool right now. Okay. I also thought it was done a little earlier. So. Always the way with you. Roey says, do you know what's scary? The new Rugrats. Is it live action too? Oh, I could get some new water. You're not wrong. Oh, it's 3D. Oh, and the rating's not very good. Wasn't the old would, Rugrats... Would anyone mind if I go get some water? Well, this go is... Go for it. Okay. We're going to talk about Rugrats. Perfect. All the voices are there, though, from the original. It looks so weird, the 3D generated thing. So shiny. <clears throat> yeah, the old one was so... Yeah, the art style is way different, eh? It's been on since 2021. Oh, is it canceled? Yeah, it's been canceled. Oh. Uh, I don't know if it is canceled. It looks like it had 21 episodes. Oh, yeah. Second season, which will premiere on April 14th, 2023. That's in like a couple of days. You'll watch it because of nostalgia. The first season of this new version got... Uh, hold on. Hold on. Two stars, a four out of ten on IMDb, and the original series. If I can find a link to it, has a seven point four. So a four compared to a seven point four. Oh yeah, they got all, almost all the voices came back. 
Uh, Nancy Cartwright plays uh, Chucky, and Nancy Cartwright plays Bart. Bart Simpson. Yep, she's good. Um, you know what I'm enjoying? Go on. Oh, um, the Yellow Jacket. Oh, you started it. Yeah, I'm on like episodes four or five. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Oh, I'm really liking it. I really like her. Uh, okay, you get, there's a bunch of hers there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the old Shauna. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. Um, what's she from? So, we had this discussion before because... Oh, I you like her. her. Yes. I, and, and I misplaced her in a bunch of stuff because I thought she was in Fargo and but that's a different actress who i also really like yep yes i remember this chat now very similar um my friend Lori has all the same facial expressions as this one in in yellow jackets like everything it's crazy like they don't look alike because my friend's blonde and a little more smaller but her expressions when she's like saying things it's just it's uncanny how much they look alike the names of the people are you done this first season or first um are you call it all caught up or what's your situation uh yes and a new episode comes out tomorrow for season two and i'm looking forward to it nice have you watched the new mandalorian i have not yet so i'm about uh i think i'm two or three episodes in it's good the new season yeah. 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 There's a couple things that kind of bothered me at first, but I kind of got over it. I didn't like the first episode, so I, I think I can relate. There, there's a bit of an Andor feel to part of it. Like, they kind of go away from the yes, main story that's right. a little bit. Yeah. And, and I don't mind it. It just kind of feels like they're building... Uh, they're building something that'll come around later. Agreed. But I like Starbuck in it. Starbuck? Who's he in it? So, no, Starbuck was the... Uh, she was in... Um, oh, the newer uh, Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, the newer Battlestar Galactica is uh, Bogotan. Oh, okay. I never watched the new Battlestar Galactica. Oh, it's good. It's really that's a really good show. Really? Yeah. Oh. Okay, maybe I'll give it a go. It's long, long gone now, though, right? Yes, long gone. It's been gone, 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 been gone so long. It's been gone, gone, gone so long. Gone, gone, gone so long. It was such a lovely, a shabby, Yeah. Brangos. In your face. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah. It's good. It's all I needed. Um, I'm trying to find. Hold on. You're trying to find that lady? Yeah, the. the um... Shana? The Shauna, uh, Molly uh, Solverson. Mm -hmm. Is that who I'm thinking of? Hold on. Let me have a look. Yeah. Possibly. I wonder if I can get a. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's her. I guess I don't really look like away. Can I just type in side by side and they'll give me a side by side of anybody? Sure, why not? I don't know. The answer is no. Ah, uh, bullshit. 
Anyway, they have the same sort of, that sort of thing, where they have the same sort of mannerisms. Yeah. You know? I do. I will say about Yellow Jackets that I hope it gets darker. Darker, okay. I mean, it's pretty dark, but I hope it gets darker. Gotcha, yeah. They, um, they're kind of alluding to some darkness, right? Like, in certain flashbacks and stuff, and I kind of just want to see how that all plays out. Oh, okay, so even in Season 2, they still haven't divulged all that. No, and there's a lot of story, because they split the story between... The then and now story and then and the now story yeah and there's some like there's some interplay the interplay between those two worlds gets a little bit more as you kind of go further i guess it's pretty damn dark yeah oh you've been watching it too little ange been binge watching it's really good, yeah. I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying the acting and the writing. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Although, I don't know... I don't know if I like Juliette Lewis. Oh, I do. But, like, she's just... She's always her, though. But, like, she's the one I laugh at the most. Like, even when she's, like exasperated she's just always got like this extreme bend over pose and then she'll come back and say her line like i just i like it <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay you've, you've sold me you've sold yeah. me doug yeah i'm sold but uh age well she did not but i like that she kept it real though she didn't get her face all done and didn't get implants or any of that stuff and I would almost rather I would not all, not even almost I would rather that. How old Agreed. Is she is. But. She is forty eight. She's forty nine. But yeah. Yeah. You know that she dated Brad Pitt from nineteen eighty nine to nineteen ninety three. I do. I don't understand it, but I do. Well, Brad's really good looking. Yeah. No, but maybe he wasn't then. You don't understand how she could go out with him? I do. I don't understand how he could go out with her. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Oh, they're just babies. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. Look yeah. At, look and, at this photo of them. They're like, and the other thing is, she was more popular than him then. Like, she was a star. And that must have been just after natural born killers right around that time yeah and they're so young yeah she's probably the age Nine. yeah so she she's like 18 there or not even three. Uh, she's hold on i gotta do this math here She's 16. She dated and him from 16 till she was 20. Yeah. Wow, that is That is very young. Yeah. How old was he when she, when she was 16? He's 59, so he's 10 years older than her. He was 26 and she was 16? Yep. Wow, that's not good. No, in hindsight it's kind of odd isn't it <clears throat> but he still wasn't known then yeah that's uh, uh, that's that's not good though. no no it's a oh well surprise bradley Pulling the old DiCaprio there. Oh, 
<laughs> uh, little Edge goes, who? I missed the name. Old Wednesday? No, not Christina Ricci. Oh, I like Christina Ricci. She's in that. She's not Old Wednesday. Oh, was she? Yeah, she is. Wednesday? She was Wednesday in the Adams Family movie. Oh. I like mm -hmm. Christina Ricci in, in Yellow Jackets a lot. You like her character? I like the way that she plays her character. And to be honest, I think Christina Ricci's having a bit of a renaissance. Oh, totally, because she was in the new Adams. And, um, now, I don't think she's as old as the rest of them, though, is she? Like she, To me, she'd be like early 40s. She's 43. Yeah. But that's only six years younger than Juliette Lewis. Yeah, and how old's the other lady? The one you like? Mm. One second. I will tell you. She's 45. Okay, yeah, that all... That all adds up. And Aisha. Is forty six. Is that They're all? Tayani or whatever her name is. Taisha. Okay. Oh, am I saying it wrong? Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Oh, I don't know. I I don't know. I was asking for that the reason. Senator lady. The yeah. Worst. Yeah. Yeah. Her. So they're, you know, in the ballpark. I'm curious to know who's who's doing all the stuff. Uh, in which zone? The modern day. Yeah. Or maybe it's the same entity in both. I don't know. Thanks, Alange. Christina Ricci wasn't gone. She did some stuff in the last years. Thinking about Lizzie Borden. Oh, I, I think she's just getting popular again. Yeah. Uh, 40 wax. Movie. I'm assuming it's a movie. 2018. Mm, it's not in that. Uh, it was Kristen Stewart, Chloe Savini. Fiona Shaw. Who well, you may know from very many things. isn't so much stuff. The two and a half men Rosie? Rose? Rose. Two and a half men. Oh, yeah. Melanie Linsky. That's the one I like. I didn't know she was in that. Oh, she just looks very young in, in this. Never really watched Two and a Half Men. Never really got into that show. No, I didn't like the casting of it, to be honest.
Oh, she's a bit of a bombshell on this show. Really? Mm. Cool. You know who she ri reminds me of in this show is um, Robin from How I Met Your Mother. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Colby something. Yeah, because this is her in Two and a Half Men's. Oh, would not have known they were the same person. Right? Like... And doesn't Not even she close. Like... She does, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And I think this picture is a little deceiving because she really, really looks like her there. But same hairstyle and whatnot. Probably the same, same time in life too. You know. Very similar. Here's an. Oh, that picture's tiny. Remember how I taught you how to look at pictures in Google using the tools? Tools! Big pictures only, please. Large. Uh, Colby Smothered. Smolders. Smolder? Smolders? Hmm. Well, the face a bit, uh, the body is totally different. Yeah. Well, Colby's very, 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 very thin. Definitely in the face. How did that show end? Was she the mother, Colby? Or was she? Oh, the mother was someone random. Um, I never really was a big was, fan of the uh, How I Met Your Mother. She was not the mother because. Oh, maybe. I don't think she Aunt was. Robin. Yeah, that's right. She said she would call her Aunt Robin. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It was one of his Randoms. girlfriends, right? Yeah, I think so. But, like, one that was there before and came back. Oh, like a Ross and Rachel thing. Yeah, like a... You know, I have the internet. Sometimes you do. And sometimes you use it. Sometimes you don't. I like when you don't, because then it's like it leaves it open for debate. Crazy was the mother. Tracy? Yeah. Um. He was also in a show called Dollhouse. Oh, yeah. I've heard of that. And she's really good at that. Uh, Colby? No, the one that was the mother. This one. This one here. Oh. I don't know her at all. You do. You absolutely do. Let me get another picture. She's in, she's in a bunch of stuff. Let me I'll tell you some more stuff that she's in. In a second. Once I give you a little mother face. Um, she looks like the one from um, Sex Band Camp. Sex Band Camp? Yeah. Um, American Pie. The redhead. <laughs> <laughs> Who was also in that thing? <laughs> oh. Um... So she was in, the most recent thing that she was in was Made for Love. 
Yeah, I don't Did know you that. See one. that? Oh, no. really good. Uh, canceled, but really good. Uh, the resort, Wolf of Wall Street, Palm Springs. Uh, she was in a couple Black Mirrors, which were pretty good. Cool. She's in Thirty Rock, Mindy Project. Mm. Palm Springs was was pretty good. It was her and Andy Samberg. Oh, like was it a movie or a show? Yeah, it was a movie. It's the first I'm hearing of it. She was in Mythic Quest. Did you watch any of that? Uh, not even sure what that is. So no. It's a. Okay. Would I like it? Just... <laughs> it's a uh, Rob McElhenney from it's always sunny yeah don't know him either it's about yeah. a video game development company oh, okay and they make a, a massive mmo what's a momo MMO? oh yeah a momo <laughs> they just make massive one big momo multiplayer online on game yeah uh, i think you find it funny because uh there's some agency type stuff in there so oh yeah yep can understand uh, some of that. It's really loose and kind of fantasy-ish. Still, pretty good. Cool. Have you watched How I Met Your Father? No, and I do have. I do know who the father is, though. Was your friend in it? No. So I went to see John Mulaney in Toronto, and his opener was Dan Levy. Um, and Dan Levy was a writer on that show and then they fired him and oh. didn't give him a gag order. And so he just told everybody at that show who the father was on how I met your father because he was angry that he got fired. Right. And then he went off to do Shit's Creek. No, different Dan Levy. Oh, I only know that one. <laughs> yeah. They made that joke a lot. He made that joke. He basically said, I bet you were expecting somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, w yeah, I would have been like, oh, uh, well, who are you? And I think he pronounces it Levy. Oh, yeah. Hmm. He did a bunch of stuff, like uh, he wrote for the Goldbergs. I don't know if you've seen that show. No. Is it good? You don't... Uh, yes and no. Fair. Mm -hmm. So, Bia, I won't spoil it for you and tell you who the father is. But I know. So if you, anybody wants to know, come to me. I'll tell you. You'll wreck it for anyone. I'll wreck it for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> So if you excuse me for one minute, Doug, I'm going to quickly uh, get a drink. Yeah, you do you. Okay, you're right back. Yeah. So I'm going to ask the question I ask everyone every time Shane leaves. What's going on this weekend? What you up to? What's your Easter plans? Fire it in chat. Please and thank you. I'd love to share, see what everybody's up to. More or less just trying to figure out if anyone has better plans than I do. So yeah. Lay it down.
Going to stream. Okay, making some food with Shane. Yes, I heard that. Cycling indoors. Ooh, I'm playing some small land. What's small land? Is that like a video game with small things? That's the ones. And planting your bulbs. Perfect. What are you planting bulbs for? You're going to stream, but I'd love my muscle pains to get away. Ooh, yeah. Otherwise, I'll lay down. Oh, I hope so, too. Jeez, that sounds less than ideal. Hope you're feeling better as soon as the stream. I hope you're feeling better right now. Ooh, how are you liking small land, little Ange? I I looked at this on my wish list. I might get that game. Oh, I hope your muscle pains go away, Bia. You can always try muscle relaxers. Shane swears by him. Just don't take too many. No. Planting your bulbs. Blazing Star is the one bulb pack. Let me have a look at this. Blazing Star. Ooh. Oh, I like those. They're everywhere. They look like lupins. Well, at least you'd be relaxed. <laughs> uh, let's see. The other is in Gladius of Botswana. Oh, that's nice, too. Cluster flower. I didn't know where that was going. These are the flowers that little angel's going to plant. These ones here. This is the. Oh, they're fun. Gladius, Gladius of Botswana. stars which also come in other colors See? oh yeah I like those too fun not a big planter of flowers but I like these kind of things where they're a little bit more exotic yep looking maybe they're not exotic maybe they grow here who knows but if they're exotic to you ones, they're exotic they kind of look a little bit like uh cure-all do you know the cure-all doug no so there's this plant that kind of grows in everyone's heal all heal all cure-all and it's a little it's like a little like what we would call a poor man's version of that. I think the poor man's thing tonight with you. Yeah. Where do we get all these discounted men? People are <laughs> people are dying to know, Shane. <laughs> uh, see this one here, Doug? Oh, yeah. So this grows in lawns all over Nova Scotia. And every bit of this is edible. And every bit of it is uh, said to cure something. Oh. So you can make a tea from the leaves and it's supposed to cure stomach aches. You can, like, and I don't know what all the things are. But. Sounds like it's good for you, though. You're loving small land? Tiny fairies. Big animals around you. I 
But you need to fight animals, so it's nothing for you. Looks pretty fun. <clears throat> we played a bit of Grounded, so I'd like to know sort of how it compares to that. I liked mm. Grounded because it felt like, honey, I shrunk the kids, which I think is what exactly what it was going for. Oh, okay. Did you leave me or? No, I'm here. Okay. Fine, I just wanted to check. I'm just really uh, enthralled in the how this is coming together so detailed and amazing. What's happening, sir? Your art. Is coming oh, together. oh, thanks. Yeah, it's fun to kind of work on one piece for a little longer. And I, I thought this Bia, was... Oh, sorry. Bia just said that she'd never imagined that the art piece would, would look like this at the end. And I, you know, at the beginning when I thought it was already done, which I do sometimes not. <laughs> True, you do. I also never would have imagined that it would get this detailed and interesting. Oh, cool. Thanks. Not that it wasn't interesting before. Wow, I said too much. It's fine. It's good. Speak from your heart, Celine. <laughs> Little Ange says, I think this is one of my favorite Doug pieces. Oh my goodness. All this I love all this. Thank you. I didn't know where it was gonna go either, to be perfectly fair and honest, so yeah, I think it's coming along alright. Watching Yellow Jackets. I started Invincible for those that have seen that. And it's coming along pretty good. Uh is that the one that I tried to watch and didn't like? Uh it's the it's the cartoon Oh right, no, uh, I haven't uh, seen it. Uh, oh you didn't the... like Yeah, I didn't like someone. Uh which I really liked. Um on something yeah extraordinary that's extraordinary. the one i can't believe you didn't find some of that funny that oh i funny. i might have chuckled but uh no overall just didn't uh didn't buy into the actress that's fair Well, I don't know. You seem to quite like her, but... Yeah, but I mean, not everybody has to like the people I like. That's that's a proven fact. Yeah. You like me and not everyone does, so, you know, there's that. That's not true. Everybody likes you, Doug. Yeah, that's not true at all, but thank you. Everybody I know likes you. Well, that's because I only let you meet certain people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get out much. Yeah. That's why we're friends. 
I was allowed to meet Dudu on this trip. I was very excited to meet a new person finally. Yeah, me too. Excited for you. Allowed. Can you imagine being allowed to meet people? Meet whoever you like, Shane. Thank you. You do you. Will do. What was your favorite piece at the art gallery? Can you think? Can you think of that? My favorite piece of the art gallery was when we were in the Leonard Cohen exhibit, and it was just a writing on the wall where he said his biggest regret in life. I'm paraphrasing, was having children because it took away from him being selfish and able to be the best version of him he could be. However, he was happy to have them as adults so they could be chatty and friendly at that stage of life. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I read that piece. Yeah, I was like, I can relate. <laughs> uh, I found that, that, that Leonard Cohen exhibit to be quite crazy. Mm, yeah, I liked it. Like, there was I didn't so expect to like it. of his life was there. Yeah. I didn't expect there to be so many self-portraits. Like this that was surprising. So many pictures of himself. He was the original selfie person. Had to be. Like it was crazy how many pictures he took of himself. And so one of the things I read was, um, was he obsessed with getting old or something? Or um, I don't know. But he got a. His camera was a Polaroid. He used a Polaroid camera. Oh, okay. Like, I, I don't think it was like a, a typical one. It was like, but there's a ton of Polaroids there that were pretty interesting. Mm hmm. Like, yeah, a lot of those pictures were from that same camera, I'm assuming. Yeah, or one similar to it. Okay. I'm almost, I'm almost there. What I love about this is I have no idea who it is. Oh, I see way futuristic. Or a pop star of some sort. Mm -hmm. And at first I thought the red under the eyes was bleeding, but now I'm not seeing that anymore. I was just building some stuff. Yeah. Building a mystery, like Sarah McLaughlin. Right. Yeah. I probably say that often, do I now? I feel like I've said that recently. Sure. At least 20 times on the trip. Well, everywhere I went was so exhilarating. Had high expectations. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then at that one place, we had to lower our expectations. Oh, shit balls did I ever. I didn't eat. <laughs> yeah, you didn't like that place. Which mm. is fair. Mm. No, I did not like that place. And there's some really good uh, Leonard Cohen quotes. Never make a decision when you need to pee. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Not as poignant as if you don't become the ocean, you'll be seasick every day. Hmm. I'm looking for the ch children quote. Oh, this is a good one. The older I get, the surer I am that I'm not running the show. 
Oh yeah. That's fair. Ooh, can I search this? I wonder. It's the hair hat. I really like that. Rody, Rody says, reminds me of Sia for some reason. That's fair. Yeah. We, we did mention that earlier, that. though. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine being his kid and him saying something like that? You're like, what the shit, dad? Because he, yeah. Yeah. All right. You want me to bring this closer now? Yes, please. Looks so cool. Yeah, this piece is great. Ready for a kiss? Mwah. A double kiss. <laughs> a little, little chef kiss? No, oh, I got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I think it turned out all right. Turned out better than all right, Doug. It turned out amazing. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. So you're off on a vacation starting yeah. Saturday. Soon. <laughs> so I'm not ready, but it's it's happening. You're not ready for vacation. No. You're not packed, you mean? Nice. I like that cheer. Oh, with the bits. Yeah. Twenty whole bits. Wow. Thanks for the bits. Did you guys hear a sound? Because I didn't hear a sound. No, I didn't hear a sound. No, I just saw I saw the bits. I'm trying to figure out if our alert box is having trouble with sounds or if everybody heard it. No sound. No sound. The damn box. Oh, it's stupid box. Yeah. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some, I guess. But yeah. thank you for the bits. Very oh, nice. my gosh, yes. Love, love bits. Love, love the cheers. Cheer it up. <laughs> Well, I hope you have an amazing time on vacation, Doug. Uh, I Thank think you. That you deserve some sun, and some fun, and some food. And that all sounds great. Body surfing. Yeah, I'll surf some bodies. I'll just give it a go. That's why I got. Men, but sure. Oh, well, you gotta be take things quite literal with you, you know. <laughs> you never know. All right. Well, thanks everybody for hanging out. I do appreciate you coming around. Yeah. And we won't be here next week because Doug's on vacation, but we'll be here the <laughs> week after, most likely. Shirtless Instagram beach photos, please. All right. I'll do my best. Oh. Oh, he didn't I say, meant to take a photo. He, did, of, he didn't say of me, so it's fine. I can take lots of shirtless people yeah. for you. <laughs> what I did you say? I take a picture of us at the hockey game, and I didn't. Oh, yeah. We didn't document that at all. Shirtless or shirted? I, I didn't take a picture. And I meant to. I'm like, we should do a thing where we self the ice in the background next time. We would have fell down. It was too steep. It was so steep. So steep. So steep. Um, yeah, I took some of the ice and posted that on Instagram, but I, I didn't take any of us. I'm really sorry. That's okay. I don't photograph well. It's not true. I have one of you with Picasso. 
But I didn't post it because I knew you'd say don't. Oh, yeah. You can post it in Discord. <laughs> okay. Me and Picasso. Perfect. I was just surprised. I'm like, I've seen that somewhere before. It was yeah. A, it's a famous Picasso piece. <laughs> the most famous Picasso piece. I Is it? Oh, I didn't know that. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. Well, I, I mean, me as a non-art person, yeah, I feel like I've seen that more than, than the not. rest of them. Although, when you put in Picasso... P- <laughs> What are you putting in where? Uh, Taco brought up a lot of different stuff here. I just see uh, a lot of birds. That's what I assume showed up. (laughs) When they're this close, everything looks abstract. Right. (laughs) It's mushy. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, no, when I put it in there, it's not the first one that comes up, so maybe it's not the most famous one, but it's the only one that I kind of know off by heart. Like, I'm like, I know that piece, and you're like, yeah, it's Picasso, idiot. You know? But maybe it's because you just know the style. No, no, no. I know that specific piece. Oh, great. Yeah. I don't know what you know. Um, and maybe it's always been in that gallery, and maybe that's why. That's fair. Maybe. Any hoozle. Um, yeah. Thanks for joining, everybody. Yeah, it was great. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, this is the first of the next century, I guess. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And we hope there will be 99 more at the very least. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right. Have a great night, everybody. Have a great uh, week in a bit, and I'll see you two Thursdays from now. Bye. Take care.